see who's joining us today. We'll be live on Facebook in a minute as well. Just loading. Okay, we're now live on Facebook. Brilliant. Good morning, everyone. So today, as Jules isn't here, we're doing an SMS team takeover. Uh, just to let you know as well, when Jules isn't here, we promise that we don't eat all of the cake. We do actually savour a little bit for when she's back. So as I said, it's team takeover today. So we're just gonna be showing you some uh, of the different patterns um, and then different alternative fabrics that, that you could wear with each pattern. I today am wearing the Regan sweatshirt made by the lovely Sharon. Also Sharon's not here today as well. So it's a little bit quieter in the office than usual. So first up, we have Katie, the very lovely Katie. So we'll see what she's got on today. <laughs> So Katie's wearing um, our Celia top. This is um, a pattern hack of the Celia top. Um, so it's got mitered corners on the sleeve there. So if you do like the look of this Celia top, we do have a blog um, which tells you exactly how to make this version. Um, so yeah, you can head to our blog and find out how to make it. She's also got the Porsche trousers on as well. So this is our wide leg pair of trousers. Can't see it, it's fine. <laughs> so, um, fabrics for the trousers then. So for Porsche, we've got the 100% wool suiting in charcoal. So you could make them up in these. And then for the Celia, we've got a few different fabrics here. We've got the vintage blue tile print viscose which is this one here, or you could make it up in the kaleidoscope print, which is a double gauze. We do have this in different colours as well, but we thought we'd show you the grey one today, but if you do want to have a look at the other colours, you can find those on our website. <laughs> ah, well spotted. <laughs> And also the Pretoria Marley cotton lawn. So if you're partial to a bit of animal print, this would be a nice one. So it works really well, as I said, with the Porsche trousers. And then of course, you could make it up in any of the laundered linens. So just as an example, you could use the mallard, make it up in that, which would be lovely. So that's our first outfit. So that was Celia and the Porsche trousers. Thank you, Katie. Next up, we've got Claire. So Claire's wearing another one of our patterns. This is our Helena dress. Which Claire looks very lovely in. <laughs> I think we've done this one before. I think we have, yes. So Claire is wearing it in the Arctic Dusk laundered linen. This laundered linen is very popular. Very nice. And the buttons with that one. I'm going to show you buttons. These are oh, the deep purple buttons. I don't know if I hold them. Yeah, it's quite hard to see. Is it? From this distance, yeah. Just, yeah, I can't really see them. Well, they're the deep purple anyway. So if, you, if you're interested in them, as always, they're on our website. Yeah, they'll keep me two of those. So two buttons for the Helena. Teresa says morning all. Morning, Teresa. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. If you do have any questions, um, just pop them in the comments um, and one of our uh, team members will, will get back to you in the comments as well. Uh, you could also make up the Helena in the Warm Spice laundered linen. Nice. Again, another very popular one. This one's probably my favourite colour. Mine. Really like it. Not a purple girl, but that one's me. <laughs> well, the purple looks very nice <laughs> on you. And then buttons for that, we've gone with the Boston Fall cotton buttons. I don't think you'll be able to see these um, very well. But again, they are the Boston Fall cotton buttons. That would go really nicely with the warm spice. 
other alternatives for the Helena would be the black and white melange linen mix, which is this one here. Yeah. If you can't hear Claire, she's telling me it's got good drape on this one. And the buttons that we've gone for with that one are the black shiny buttons. So again, you probably won't be able to see these too well. But they're the black shiny buttons. And then we've got a print now. This is viscose linen. This is wild botanicals. So if you like floral, mm -hmm. that's a nice one for the Helena. Yeah. Again, the black shiny buttons would work really well with this fabric. Yeah, the background is black, isn't it, on that one? Yeah. Yeah, black background and lots of nice colours in there as well. So that was the Helena dress. Thank you. Thank you, Claire. All right, next up, we're back to Katie again with a very quick change. Cressida jumpsuit, probably my favourite pattern. Yeah, big fan of this one. Uh, we don't have any more of this um, fabric in, unfortunately, at the moment, but you could make it up. Um, in any of our linens again, maybe the warm spice, quite a nice one for that one. Some other fabrics we've picked out is the luxury crepe teal. And we've picked out some buttons to go with that fabric. We've gone with the deep green marbled buttons and I think it's eight buttons for the Cressida. I'm sure, sure the girls will shout to me if I'm not right, but I'm pretty sure it's eight. Six or eight. So yeah, we've got the green marbled buttons there to go with the teal. Next, we have Dobby Spot. Again, a crepe which would make up really nice for the Cressida. I really like the Cressida because you can kind of make it more casual or if you're going out in an evening for drinks with friends or dinner, it's also a nice one that you can dress up uh, a little bit as well. Uh, the buttons for to go with the Dobby Spot are the dark blue shell buttons, which I haven't actually got out, but again, you can find those on the website. So it's Dobby Spot Crepe and the dark blue shell buttons. Next, you could also make Cressida in the black tensile. And I have got some buttons for this. This is the Black Sun print buttons. Again, not sure if you can see those too well on the camera but because they've got a little bit of detail on the button, it looks quite nice on the black, black background, just kind of lifts it a little bit. The example Katie's wearing is, is Tensile as well, so... Ah, uh, okay. Really straight, like the, like the one that we've got. So the sample that um, Katie's wearing is Tensile as well. Okay. So this would be a good, good fabric for Cressida. And then we've got a print again. See if I can reach this one. When Jules talks about uh, moving around a bit of a workout with the fabrics, I know exactly what she means now. Yeah, she just said, morning ladies, looking fabulous and loving your fabric choices too. From Cloudy Cornwall. Uh, <laughs> no, it's cloudy here as well. Yeah. <laughs> right, this is the uh, Dancing Daisies Viscose Lawn. This is a nice one. And black buttons again would uh, would look good with this. Yeah, or you could do a Sharon special and pick out some of the colours, so some of the greens, the yellows, or the oranges. Orangey red? Yeah, it's like a dark, dark orange. It's very similar to the colour you're wearing, actually. And that's the Cressida jumpsuit.
Thank you, Katie. Back to Claire again. Very quick change. You're doing very well with these changes. I'm impressed. Okay, so we've got the nail trousers and the Eleanor shirt. So some more of our uh, more recent patterns. So with the nail trousers, Claire is wearing the laundered linen storm grey. Oh, nice, I love these. Very comfy? Yeah, really comfy. Super comfy. Very comfy. And nice. the top, is that the salt white yeah, laundered salt linen? White. Yes, salt white laundered linen. linen. So you could make it up exactly as Claire's wearing it, or if you wanted something a bit different for the shirt, you could go with the midnight rosette cotton lawn. Nice. I think this is one of Sharon's favourite actually, yeah. she loves this one. Yeah. Or you could go with the mustard floral viscose, which again yeah. I think works really nice with uh, yeah. that storm grey. And where are these? I think these are both size 14 for anybody okay. interested. Size 14, Claire's wearing today. 14, 14. And I think, I think if I'm right, Claire, this That's is one of your favourite oh, fabrics, the Vintage Poses Linen Cotton Mix. It is, although I'm not sure it suits me. Really? It's a bit, yeah. Nah. Nice. I like it. Yeah. It's nice actually with these, isn't it? Yeah, nice bright colours in there with the orange and the blue. Yeah. I like this one as well, yeah. I like this one a lot. And then, very jazzy fabric, the street art. Yeah, that was right, wasn't it? Nice and draped. Yeah, just kind of picks out the grey a little bit, yeah, doesn't it? And actually. livens it up a little bit. So you need lo lots of tops and one pair of trousers. That's it, mixing and matching with the, uh, <laughs> with the tops. Comfy pair of trousers, yeah. nice shirt, yeah, these are happy days. Really Waist. Yeah, so Claire's just showing the elastic uh, waist there, which makes them super comfy. I think those are the secret pajamas, do we yeah, call them? Yeah, definitely. And yeah, I think Sharon's made them in the double gauze. Yeah, Sharon wears hers quite a lot actually in the, the navy double gauze, mm. I think. Mm. And she always says, Oh, so comfy, so comfy. <laughs> is she listening as well? I don't know if she is. I'm assuming maybe, yeah. maybe on Instagram, yeah. possibly. <laughs> okay, thank you, Claire. Okay. We're uh, back to Katie again. So Katie's coming in now in the Miranda dress. So I'm not sure if we've, uh, if we've shown this one before actually, but, uh, or shown this one before in this fabric. <laughs> but some different options we've got for this one is the Blush Bloom Soft Viscose. That one. You like this one? Katie's a fan, <laughs> fan of this one. So yeah, just nice and lively, nice and bright. Make a statement with this. And we've also got Dotty About Dots. This is a viscose. So this one is obviously a navy, but a little bit later we'll be showing you it in the green and the cinnamon as well. Sharon says hi. Hi Sharon, hope you're having a nice holiday. We've also saved you some cake as well for when you're back. Because <laughs> that's not the only thing we do when Jules is away. So you need cake. So yeah, dotty back dots, navy viscose. Or you could make it up in flourishing fruits viscose, which I think is quite similar to this one, kind of the colours. Nice and sort of purpley. And then one last one is the flower keeper rayon. Again, lovely and bright, would make up beautifully in the Miranda dress. So again, with this one, it's, it's one that you can kind of dress up or you can, you know, have a little bit more casual. So depending kind of what shoes, what accessories you wear. Again, if there's any questions, fire them through. One of our team members will get back to you. Said that we're doing well. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Lovely, right? Thank you very much, Katie. We are back on to Claire. Claire, that was a, an amazing fast change. Lovely. Pockets as well. Yeah, 
Wow. Okay, so we've got the Desdemona skirt and the Rosa top. So the Rosa top is uh, one of the exclusive patterns in the sewn studio. Yeah, so there's some photos, I think, that Sharon was wearing this one and you were wearing the stripey, yeah. the, stripey the other, other version of it. Um, so Desdemona skirt, this would be good with the needle cords. This one, that one is okra, that. is that it? Is that one? Yeah. Let me just double check. Yeah, no. I think this one is okra, yeah. I think, or gold. Or okra, okra, yeah, yeah it was right, stretch. yeah. Okra stretch, needle cord. Again, love this colour. Probably one of my favourites. That's a boot, isn't it? I like it. It does, yeah. Desmond is a good one with boots. Yeah, long boots or short boots. Got to have the boots on for the winter, of course. Um, so we have the needle cord in obviously different colours. Another one we've picked out is the burnt orange. Or brick. Brick, sorry. Brick. Sorry, I'm thinking ahead of the... Uh, I think it's brick. Yes, it is brick, I think. Yes, brick, sorry, brick red. Yeah, I like that. I think I prefer that one. So there's those two there. Or you could make it up in denim. So was this the stretch? Yes. Yeah, black stretch denim. So, always got to have a denim skirt mm. in your wardrobe. I've got, I've got quite a few, I yeah. think. I've got one in this. Oh, uh, you've made a, one mm. up in this. Yeah. Nice. So that's the black one. And of course, we've got it in blue as well. So again, like Claire said, you could make it up and just change sort of the tops that you're wearing with it. Uh, the rosa top, that's made up in the graphite cotton jersey which is this one here mm. That's nice. again this is one of the ones in the sewn studio one of the exclusive patterns so you could make it up in that or tiny dancer which Sharon loves the name of this one also loves the fabric mm. so again that's another cotton jersey Very cosy. Yeah, they're good quality these because they're all AGF ones, aren't they? Well. We've picked yeah. out the uh, multi-stripe cotton jersey. If you don't mind holding that. Yes, that we thought that go. one would go nicely with the brick yes. red yes. needle nice. cord. So a good little pair in there. Thank you very much. So that's the Desdemona skirt and the Rosa top. There are two versions of the Desdemona skirt. Um, so just have a look on the website and you can oh, kind yeah. of see which, which version you like. Um, the other version uh, has got that's buttons. Good. Yes. Good. Do we need this one for the, is that another? Oh yeah, I've missed that one out. Thank you. <laughs> that's all right. That's that one there, lonely on the table. The North Star cotton jersey. Yeah, nice. so again, another one you could make it up in. Lovely. Haven't missed any more, have I, there? No, lovely. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Claire. Okay, so we're going with the trousers and top sort of pairing now. So we've got the hero trousers and the Regan sweatshirt. So we're matching in our Regans today. Uh, so the hero, we've picked out the cotton sateen stretch platinum which is this one so some nice greyish sort of looking trousers and then for the regan the fabric katie is wearing is flower glory rayon which is this one and of course all, as always we've got uh, lots of ribbon that you can choose from on the website as well or you could make it up in painted fields which is this one here I really like this one so that would look lovely yeah very nice very pretty we've got summer flower which I think 
Jules always says looks like um, barbecue. Looks like it's got a little, <laughs> it a little, bit. little barbecue pattern on there. <laughs> Not sure we'll be uh, having any, any barbecues over the next couple of months. I think the weather's uh, turned now. And then snow leopard, also known as dirty cat. So yeah, that would look good, especially with the cotton sateen stretch trousers. So there, there's four fabrics. And as I said, the ribbon got lots to choose from on the website. So just have a sort of nose around and see what you like the look of. Thank you, little trouser top pairing. We're back to a dress now. <laughs> Love how they've just done a little high five as they walked off the screen. <laughs> I feel like I need one now. <laughs> oh, okay. I actually thought you were going to leave me hanging there. So this is back to the dresses. We've got the <laughs> Angelica dress. This one you've seen. Yeah, love this one. Yeah, this is a good one. Yeah, this one's a pocket. Been a, one of the, probably the most popular mm. dresses, I think. I think you could wear it all year, really, couldn't you? Just put a jumper over the top. Yeah, Sharon the other week was on about um, a winter Angelica, actually. Mm. So, yeah, definitely summer yeah. or winter. Perfect for all seasons, as we say. Yeah. Um, you're wearing it in the dotty about dots green. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay. So, that is this one. So, yeah, if you want to make it up exactly like Claire, then this is the fabric to go for. I love it. Or we have got it in the other colour, which is the cinnamon. Love it. Especially for autumn. Yeah, very autumn-like. Yeah, that's my autumn, love it. Autumn colours. Mm, Again, nice with a pair of boots or something. Yeah. Or some yeah. trainers. Sharon says she thinks it's going to make one in Dirty Cat. Duh. <laughs> of course she is. <laughs> Can't wait to see that, Sharon. <laughs> Good for the winter, winter white. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yep. Yeah. This is Labelia. Love the name of this one. Yeah, Love the fabric. Cute. Yeah, it's very cute. It's very, very sort of vintagey, 70s vintage vibe. Yeah. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I can see Matilda actually. Yeah. In in one of these. Yeah. Nice. Donna Perry's loving the fashion show. Ah, good. <laughs> Pleased to hear it. Thank you for tuning in and joining us today. Uh, we've also got the Tobu one as well. One. Yeah, which uh, Annette had a, a good name for this morning, actually. It was uh, Bird Bamboo, actually. <laughs> but it's not called that. It's called Taboo Coral, and it's a viscose crepe. Just undo that a little bit so you can see it. So, yeah. That would be lovely. Nice large print there. Also, I really like the colour of this one as well. Yeah. It's really a nice colour. Got some really lovely drape. Lovely drape as well. Uh, thank you. And then the last one for the Angelica is the cloud flower viscose sateen emerald. Thank you. You want to stand out in the crowd. Yes, yeah, stand out <laughs> in the crowd. Cloud flower. We've got this one in another. I don't know if it shows up on the website very well, but this is very sort of pale pink. Yeah, so the sort of flowery pattern it is very, very pale pink. The green's coming up quite bright on there as well. Yeah, it yeah it's like um, a minty sort of green, do you say? It's not quite, no, not, yeah, not quite mint, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, so if you've obviously seen it on screen, it is a bit, a bit darker, a bit more emerald. Um, yeah, as Claire just said, if, if you want to have a sort of closer look before you buy the fabric, just order, order a swatch from us, yeah. um, just so you can sort of check it out and check out the colours first before you place an order. Thank you. That yep, lovely. Ah, thank you, Julia. It was nice to see you at the show as well, the knitting and stitching show. Thanks for tuning in today. Thank you, Claire. Thank you. Go and get change. Go, go, go. <laughs> Quick change. Right, we're back with Katie. Juno dress.
So yeah, this is our most recent pattern, obviously before the new pattern comes out on the first. This was super popular. Um, and this is a sample that Claire has made up. Um, this features some of the pattern hacks that are in the sewn studio. Yeah. Uh, so it's the gathered sleeves, long gathered long sleeves. And then if you take a, a little <laughs> swizzle, so it's the extended button placket at the back as well. And just the mitered pockets there as well. So yeah, I think there's um, five pattern hacks in the sewn studio um, for the Juno dress. Katie is wearing it in the laundered linen pillar box red. Do you mind passing me that one? <laughs> okay, you work in now, passing the fabrics over, which is this one. Such a nice colour this one is. So yeah, pillar box red stands out. Good one for Christmas as well. Obviously with the reds, love a bit of red for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Thank you. May you pass me the next one? What colour? Uh, any of them is fine. Yep. So onto the Raimi's now. So would make up nice for the Juno dress. This is the plum Raimi. I love the feel of this fabric. Yeah, so a bit of weight to it, not too heavy, not too thick, just right. <laughs> so that's the pink one. We've also got it in uh, the, the bottom one. This one. Yeah, that's the rust, I think. Thank you. Yeah, so if you're not, not really a pink person, you could go with the rust instead. So that's a nice one for the Juno dress. Will we be at the Harrogate Knitting and Stitching Show in November? We will, yes. So look forward to seeing you there. Um, we'll let you know sort of on social media and via email what stand we'll be at as well. So look out for that, but we will be there, yes. Uh, someone's just asked about what buttons Kate is wearing on the Juno dress. These are the deep red wavy buttons. Okay, not too, not too sure if you can see those, probably my thumb's in the way. So yeah, deep red wavy buttons. Was it Sharon, was it? Oh, Sharon, you should know. Uh, do you want to pass me the blue one, please? Or you could go with the bright blue viscose linen. This one's a really nice fabric. Love this blue, it's like a royal sort of blue, isn't it? Royal sort of Oxford blue. So that's a really nice colour. Yeah, so you could make it up in that. And then that, the brownie one. Yes, that one please, thank you. <laughs> and then we've got the cotton and linen mix brown twill. So another good one for the Juno. Nice um, sort of autumny colours again as well. Maybe with some um, nice brown boots or black boots. Look good with that. Thank you. Okay, we are back to Claire. So the next pattern is the Bianca coat. So lovely one for this type uh, time yeah. of year. Nice and cosy, yeah. nice and warm good for an extra layer and of course it looks looks great as well looks spot on yeah, stylish, so. very stylish yeah yeah so get get your winter coat <laughs> um the fabrics that we've pulled out for this one <clears throat> are our boiled wools so we've got <laughs> this one looks heavy <laughs> we've got the uh, okay two. <laughs> two, two job uh, two person oh, job right. this one this is the dark petrol boiled wool there's my dress. It would. Ah, it would look lovely. Green. I love green. Yeah. It looks nice on you. So that's the dark petrol boiled wool. Okay. And so we've got it in a few different colours as well. This is the grey melange. 
love that word, melange. So yeah, look, I've seen a little bit darker than the one Claire's wearing, but it's a good one because you can match that with a lot of different things, can't you? The yeah. colour kind of works with quite quite a lot of different colours. It's a good sort of charcoal-y colour. Very nice, very smart, very stylish. Like it. And then the last, oh, <laughs> the last boiled wool we've got is the steel blue thank you again another really nice blue here so you could make it up in any of those i think we have got a few other boiled walls at the minute so just have a nose round on the website and um, see what else we've got as well so yeah two and a half meters for the coat okay you need two and a half meters if you'd like to make the bianca coat Oh, just give us one more twirl, Claire, go on. <laughs> just one more. Okay. Lovely. Very Thank you very crazy. much. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now the showstopper. This is the final one. Hold it. What comes before part B? Part A. Here you go. <laughs> so, yeah, if you're looking for something for your Christmas party, we've got the, uh, the very fancy Regan top here with obviously the sequins and velour as well Love so yeah it's a good one if you you know got some sort of social activities coming up want something a bit a bit fancy a bit nice yeah. the the lovely do you want to pass me the fabrics please yeah. so we've got the navy stretch velour We've also got this in, um, is it wine, I think? Wine yeah. velour? Wine. Yeah, like a deep, deep sort of red, reddish colour as well. But I'm pretty sure it's called wine. So yeah, could make it up in either of those. And of course... Oh, so glittery. <laughs> so glittery. We've got the navy sequins mm -hmm. there as well. <coughs> so add a bit of sparkle we all need a bit of sparkle in our lives don't we so yeah that's that so they are all our pairings for today <clears throat> so thank you for joining in uh, uh joining in joining us today not joining in um jules will be back next week and we will send out an email this afternoon or this evening um with all the pattern pairings and all the fabrics that we uh we showed today um, the free PMP code is free PMP OCT26, but that should be in the comments. And also you can find it in the email if you've missed it in the comments. So anything else I've missed no. to say? No? Well done. no? Lovely, right. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See ya. Yeah. So lovely.